in this question we have a 26 year old female who was evaluated for infertility and found to have micro prolactinoma with prolactin level elevated she is eager to conceive she was started on bromocriptine she returned with bothersome episodes of nausea and vomiting physician reassured and sent patient returned a week later with persistent nausea and vomiting what is the next best step in the management okay switch to cabogolin start bromocriptine and observe intravaginal bromocriptine or transphenoidal surgery okay by now it is very clear for you that in case of patient presenting with prolactinoma if they are willing to conceive or if they are very eager to conceive i have think i told you that i would prefer to start them on bromocriptine because i don't want them to have a continued exposure even after stopping cabogolin is a long acting drug right now it's not a preferred drug in pregnancy right so in in this case she is very eager to conceive right so that is the objective why she probably presented to the hospital that she is very eager to conceive she, uh, she we found out that she has prolactinoma because we evaluated for infertility and she was started on bromocriptine the issue right now here is she is not tolerating the bromocriptine right she is having severe bothersome nausea and vomiting and even after reassuring and counseling probably she is coming back with symptoms so it's genuinely bromocriptine intolerance right so what can we do in that case should we think of switching over to cabergolin the answer is no because she is keen to conceive cabergolin we can switch over to but in that case i would ask them to avoid pregnancy for some time right treat the prolactinoma then later again make a switch over from cabergolin to bromocriptine and then ask her to plan for conceiving right so in this case i wouldn't be strongly thinking of switching over to cabergolin okay stop bromocriptine and observe not the sensible choice because she has infertility and it needs to be addressed right only when our amenorrhea improves our infertility will improve so mere observation is not adequate and and infertility is probably because of the hyperprolactinemia so if the prolactin levels are not coming down she is not going to improve on her infertility aspect right so this is also something option a is not something i would be keen on option b is not something i would be keen on okay option d transphenoidal surgery when is it indicated before the conception it is indicated if it is a macro prolactinoma where the dopamine therapy has already failed right or even if it is a smaller tumor where you clearly know that the dopamine agonist therapy is not helpful it is not able to bring down the tumor size by more than 50% only then you think of a transphenoidal surgery before patient conceives so in this case she is not tolerating the initiation of the dopamine agonistic right we cannot jump on to say that there is a dopamine agonistic therapy failure so i would be ruling out option d also from my list so i am left with option c intravaginal bromocriptine right so this is a statement that even harrison mentions williams mention and most of the standard endocrine textbooks mention bromocriptine intolerance is purely a gi symptom and it can be overcome by using the other modes of bromocriptine administration most commonly followed being intravaginal so if patient is, is having bothersome nausea vomiting with bromocriptine you can switch over to intravaginal bromocriptine and that would be the right choice from the options provided right so i would be going with intravaginal bromocriptine as the right choice for this question